Welcome to today's presentation. My name is Alice Hogue and I'll be your instructor. So today we are looking at the difference between gross acres versus net acres. And to really understand this, you have to understand what an undivided interest is in a property. So let's first look at the undivided interest and then we'll take a look at how you use those undivided interests to calculate your gross acres versus your net acres. So when we're talking about undivided interest, let's say that this is a 640 acre uh, section. And if we have someone that owns a 50% divided interest, they might own the west half and the other person would own their 50% interest, which would be in the east half. So that's where someone owns a specific part of a property. When we're talking about undivided interest though, what we're talking about is taking that same section and instead of making it a 50% this owner having the east, the west half and this owner having the east half, what we do is we say owner A has a 50% undivided interest, undivided. So that means, and then owner B has the same thing, a 50% undivided interest. So what that means is neither A or B own in a specific part of this property, but they each own a 50% of the whole. So in other words, they own a 50% interest in every atom in this piece of property. So A owns 50%, B owns the other 50%. They each own an undivided 50% interest, meaning it's not in any certain part of the section or of the property. I had a lady call me one time and she said, I want to donate, I want to uh, transfer three acres. She had a 50% undivided interest. I want to transfer three acres in my property to my granddaughter. Well, I had to explain to her, ma'am, you can't do that because you don't own three acres in any certain part. You own a 50% interest in three acres, so you can give her a percentage of your percentage, but you can't give her three acres in any one specific spot because we don't know where those three acres would be. So now, using this information, now we know if someone owns a 50% undivided interest, that means we're going to calculate their gross and net acres by that undivided interest. Now sometimes this is called a mineral interest or a mineral ownership interest. What is their share, their interest in the property? So let's say we have a lease that is a 160 acre lease and we have two parties. Party A owns a 50% undivided interest and Party B owns a 50% undivided interest, meaning they each own 50% of the whole. So what we see on the oil and gas lease is inserted in this blank is 160 acres. Are we going to pay a bonus based on the 160 acres? Are we going to pay a delay rental payment? based on the 160 acres? No, we're gonna pay based on what their actual ownership is. So 50% of 160 is 80 acres. 160 divided in half. Same thing, 160 divided in half. So in this case, their gross acres are gonna be 160 acres. That's what it says in the lease. But their net acres are gonna be 80 acres each, 80 net acres. Now, how do you know what the percentage of interest is, what the mineral interest is, if all you have is a lease that says 160 gross acres? Well, what you have to do is when a landman submits, the, first of all, the landman runs the title, and when he submits the lease, the signed lease, to the lease and title analyst department or the lease department, he, can, he has uh, attached to it something called a lease purchase report. And the lease purchase report, also known as an LPR, 
will have what that percentage of interest in based on the title opinion. So the lease analyst will then input that information into the system so that forever, anytime anyone looks at this lease, they'll know what the percentage of interest is, what the, uh, what the mineral interest ownership is. So their 50% interest would be 50% of the whole. 50% of the whole, 50% undivided interest. I hope this was helpful for you and I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial.